Hi everyone, it's Lindy. Today we're cooking a real life dinner in my real life kitchen with a real time mom bun. Okay you guys, so I just have a nine by 13 inch pan. I'm just gonna spray the bottom of it with some Pam. You don't have to, but I always do just as a precaution. So the original recipes always call for around five or six large chicken breasts. I have opted into using boneless, skinless thighs. Um, I'm not going to use the same number, obviously, because chicken thighs are smaller than chicken breasts, so I'm just using about four pounds worth of chicken thighs. So I have two boxes of the Uncle Ben's long grain wild rice, and we're going to dump. We have the seasoning packets too. We're gonna go ahead and use those. Okay, now we have our two cans of cream of chicken soup. <coughs> Whoa! Seasoning in the nostril. See, we're not even uh, going to be dirtying a bowl. We are just going to mix it all right here in this pan. And then we are going to add one can of water. Now, not cup. Um, was that not recording? You've got to be kidding me. All right, so we've got some water mixed in here. Make sure we've got as much of that cream of condensed soup broken up as we can. We have no little pockets of the seasoning mix all balled up because that would taste like an explosion of blah in your mouth if you didn't get that all mixed up. So now that we've got all that part done, we're going to move on to the chicken. Basically, we're just going to take the chicken and lay it right on top, like so. Squeeze them all in here. Oh yeah, we're gonna make you fit. You, you just, you watch. You're gonna, you're gonna go in this pan and you're gonna like it. Uh, maybe. Like, eh. Eh, good enough for me. Don't forget to wash your hands after handling the chicken. So the next part is the dry soup mixes. So normally I would just take the one box of the Lipton onion soup mix and I would take both packets out of this box and I would just sprinkle it evenly all over all of it. My husband isn't a huge fan of onion so I'm going to take one packet of this and one packet of this and I'm going to divide it in half and do onion on this side and the savory herb with garlic on this side. So this is gonna be a new flavor, and we're gonna try it out and see if we like it. Um, and if we do, it's gonna be a really nice alternative to anyone who doesn't like chunks of onion in their food. Like my husband. Oh yeah. Onion soup for me. Ooh, that savory herb and garlic smells really good. All right, now we are going to cover this in aluminum foil, and we are going to bake it at 350 degrees for two hours. And that's it. It's ready to go in. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Now, the whole reason it's called No Peak Chicken because for two straight hours, you do not open the oven and you do not open the aluminum foil. You just let it do its thing, just put it in the oven, forget about it for two hours, and then pull it out and enjoy. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven and then I'm going to get back to doing whatever I need to do. And then it's dinner time. Ooh, that's hot. 
Oh, 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 oh,